Hi everyone and welcome to Disney Brownies and today you're joining us in our kitchen here and what are we doing Emily? We are making Mickey waffles. Mickey Yay. waffles. So we have actually made them before but for the purpose of the video we thought this would just seem a really good video and yeah. um, obviously now that we've got a Disney channel and all that and we want to put on some Disney theming as well as Disney halls and definitely Disneyland Paris. At the moment everything's on there is all Disneyland Paris and more Disneyland Paris to come yeah. with our upcoming trip coming really soon. So definitely subscribe if you want to see more Disneyland Paris and more videos potentially like this or Disney halls etc. Yeah, so right now we're going to show you the Mickey waffle that we've been using. It's actually a Mickey waffle maker um, from Primark and it's really good isn't it? We've used it before as I say so let's get to that now. So this is the Mickey waffle maker from Primark. I did buy this quite a while ago actually um, but I did notice it recently in Primark in the sale. So any of you that you know just want to pop along to any Primark double check that they've not still got them in the sale because they might have. But I did buy this quite a while ago as I say um, but Primark do still seem to be selling these and I have noticed some similar ones on Amazon I think it is. Maybe some other places might sell them as well. I mean you're going to get different variations of waffle makers um, but certainly this particular one from Primark has been excellent. So we're going to show you how to use it what to put in it and then obviously the afters of what to decorate it with. So this is the mixture I'm using today. So this is just an American style pancake mix. This is just from uh, M&S. But I have used an actual waffle mix as well, which I would imagine would be better. But um, in all honesty, couldn't get a waffle mix today. So uh, this is going to have to do. It does contain buttermilk and dried egg. So I'm assuming it'll be the same and fingers crossed it will be. But the waffle mix before I've bought from Iceland and I have made a fresh mix myself using buttermilk and things too. But that is a little bit more faffy. Getting these type of mixes is just a little bit easier. So I've got my jug and my bowl and everything ready, ready to start making the waffles. So with the waffle maker, what you do need to do is just lightly oil the plates um, just before you turn it on and start using it. It does take a few minutes to heat it up. So what I've always done first is oiled it first, a little bit of kitchen roll, a little bit of oil, just rub it around all the areas at the bottom and the top plate as well. In all honesty, it seems really good in terms of non-stick. I mean, now I've said that, it'll probably stick on live on the yeah. video. But um, hopefully it will. They have been really, really good. You know, I do, do really highly recommend this one. Um, but in, in any event, just lightly oil it because it just helps just keep it you know okay so that things don't stick to it you don't have to do it in between each waffle just at the very very start so once you've lightly oiled it as I say you can see here there's only like the tiniest little bit that's just uh, smeared around it it's not like a lot of oil just a little dab bit of kitchen roll rub it all in put the lid down and then you just need to turn it on and then the lights will illuminate and then usually it's about three minutes-ish, give or take. So probably three to five minutes and it should be really nice and hot, ready for your waffle to go in. So now we're going to start preparing the waffle mixture. If you just do a little bit at a time, Emily. Yeah. So all we've done is popped the um, dry mixture into the bowl. And then you need to do it almost like you're making Yorkshire pudding batter. You know, where you're whisking it. You have. Um, just whisk it a little bit and then I'll do the next little bit. Is that in? It's more coming out of the bowl than in yeah. the bowl. Okay. So 300 millilitres of water, I think this mix was, but obviously you need to just check whichever mix you've bought because everything could be different. And you can make it all from scratch using buttermilk and flour and things yourself. Um, but this is just a quicker and easier way of doing it. And I'm hoping, really hoping that the American pancake mix, with it not being just a pancake mix though, Em, because normal yeah. pancake mix is different, isn't it? But American is thicker, so I'm hoping that that would be I looked specifically on the back of the box and because it said dried egg and dried buttermilk, I think we're all right. Emily's uh, mixing all this up, it's getting quite thick so you just need to keep adding a bit more water. I think the difference is when you get a thick, it, it needs to be more thick, it, it's not meant to be really runny that you're putting into the uh, waffle maker. Emily's put half of it on her arm. Right, I'll have a go now and then let's get this uh, mixture together. 
So what we've done is to basically to keep the Mickey waffles warm when you want more than one because obviously the Mickey waffle maker only makes one at a time. So obviously if you've got three of us like we have or yeah. you want two each or anything like that, you know, you're going to be making quite a few Mickey waffles. So what we tend to do is put our oven on a really low heat just to keep everything warm, line a tin just with, well, a baking tray tin thing um, with grease free paper, pop the Mickey waffles when they're cooked out of the waffle maker onto the tin into your oven just for a really short amount of time really until you've got everything done and then they should still be okay i found that they have still kept okay i don't think it really affects the quality as i say ideally straight out of the waffle maker onto your plate eating it would be better but i think in order to make quite a few i think this is what you probably need to do cook it up right and so are you Look at Emily, she's loving it. All by myself, this. Though. Yeah. Um, yeah. When Emily said she did all that by herself. I did? She didn't. I did, I did help. I did help. I did help. No, Emily started it. I did the middle part oh, of look this at that. The reason being, everyone, is because you do need to make sure that you get all... Why are you smelling it? Okay. <laughs> you need to get all the lumps out of it. Emily's got cold and a cough, so I'm trying to stay away from her as well. Um, it's important to get all of the lumps out of the batter so that basically it looks like this. So yeah, that's pretty good that, Em. Well done, darling. No problem. No, Shall you started it. it, I did the middle, you did the end. Yeah. We've got the waffle maker here on the, the heat and I'm just going to see, yeah, the steam Ooh, coming off that. So it's definitely been a good few minutes. I think we're ready to go. Yeah. So what I tend to do is actually spoon a little bit in at a time. Um, but ideally, use a plastic spoon, not a metal yes. one. Because metal and metal, when it's on, not good. So ideally, a plastic spoon. A variety of toppings. We've got most things for Reminesce, because we've got other Reminesce. But strawberries. We love our best strawberries. Then, go on, Sarah. Actually, we've got some bananas as well, so we can pop some bananas on it. Yeah, bananas and strawberries, but anyway, go through what else you've There's got. There's some whipped cream. Yep, it's great cream. And then... Did you feel the need to shake it then, Emily? I didn't really eat it. Okay. And then some pink and white marshmallows and some... Yeah. Got and you can do savoury ones as well. Yeah. Definitely like bacon, maple syrup, things like that, yummy. Yeah, but it's like American. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, we're going to use those bits today, aren't we? Yeah. And to get the batter like this, which is, it definitely should be thick, um, which is why I think the American style pancake mix might work um, like a waffle mix, because a pancake mixture is usually a lot thinner than this. So it is still quite thick, but in order to get it like this, you do have to add the water just a really little bit at a time. Don't add too much in one go. So obviously be careful when you're opening it, because it's hot. I'm doing this rather than Emily initially. I mean, you can have a go, Emily, if you want. Oh, yeah, boy, thanks. Obviously, I've done it quite a few times. So what you're supposed to do is just add, um, from the centre, ideally, and then kind of spread it out. I'm pretty sure you could maybe use a little cup or a jug and tip it in, but I find it's just easy with a spoon. Yeah, that's clicking quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, hopefully it's all okay. Right, so, as you can see, just don't know if you want to come behind me, I'm yeah. so you can see more with the ears. What you do is just try to spread, but without the mixture going over the top. Now, the first time I ever did this, um, in all honesty, I didn't fill it enough. No, and... Uh, yeah, it didn't... It looked out. like a flat pancake. Yeah, it did. But the secret is you're not supposed to overfill, but you're not supposed to underfill, so it can be quite tricky. So as you can see, it's already bubbling. I'm just going to add the teeniest bit more in over the top. So the idea of it is you fill it enough, but without too much. Just kind of... Like that, that's great. Yeah, I think that'll probably do. And then you put the do. lid down. So, are we ready for the lid down? Yeah. Yeah, and you'll hear a little bit of... Uh, sizzling and we're hoping it doesn't kind of explode everywhere. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so let's hope it comes out okay. So what you need to do is probably leave it for a few minutes and then just double check it. Um, it. It is different depending on which mixture you use but as a general rule or by the way a sort of steam coming out is perfectly normal in case you can see it in the camera. Camera might not be picking it up but there is steam coming out of it right now. 
if you look there you can see in the middle so the when the top plate comes down just sandwiches it like this now sometimes your mixture can overflow and that's what you don't want to happen so really just sort of filling it like i have so filling it but not over filling it would be perfect and really it shouldn't take any longer than a few minutes for the waffle to uh, cook so but i'd probably just keep checking it maybe after a couple of minutes just pull the lid up have a little check see what you're thinking um but probably overall i'd say a few minutes for each waffle it will depend on what filling you've actually put in the waffle maker so if you've definitely not filled it enough it will go quite crispy um, and cook very very fast if you've put the right amount in i think it would usually take about three minutes but i would check it after two just opening the lid just having a little look after maybe two minutes but i think about three minutes is about the perfect time to cook the waffle um, you might find that if you've put far too much mixture in that it takes longer than that um, but i have done that before i have overfilled it before and what i have tended to do is still leave it about three minutes or so on until i feel that it looks like it's cooked pull it out and then actually try to cut the little extra bits out and um, that form sort of outside the mickey shape so that's perfectly fine you can do that so even if you do overfill it it's not the end of the world but um hopefully this is going to be ready very soon and i can show you so just checking it now it has actually been three minutes rather than two um, just because I was busy talking to you guys um, but I did keep sort of having a little peek at it just to check um, and yeah that looks really good so the next one I'll just maybe check it a little bit earlier so there's a reasonable amount of steam coming out of it now um, let's have a look after a couple of minutes yeah that definitely looks actually like it's done so i think this particular um recipe is probably only taking a couple of minutes to cook them whereas some might take three minutes so i've checked it after a couple and it does seem to be um that it's ready so let's take it out i've already shown obviously what it looks like and this was only a couple of minutes now actually so depending on your mixture it might take two or three mix two or three minutes so i only tend to use plastic spatula like that and if you can see how easy that's come out perfect so we're going to pop this onto a tray get it in the oven get the next yeah. one in so while the mickey waffles are cooking you can certainly get on with anything that you want to do in terms of you know on the side so i'm going to wash and chop my strawberries bananas get the marshmallows on the plate things like that really maybe just a dollop of nutella on the side and then you're just really ready to get the hot waffle out and then you can drizzle it with syrup or whatever you want to do and put your cream on last as i say you could certainly do a lot of savory options even popping like cinnamon sugar or something like that over the top there's so many ideas out there so i'm just going with what we're doing today really so i'm going to pop all these things on our plates ready and then we've got everything ready for when the waffles come out so i did two minutes on the timer again just to see because there's other ones have taken three minutes but these seem to be taking two so do you see what i mean about this particular one i purposely um put a little bit extra in just to show you what it looks like so all that happens is you get a little bit extra on the edges so when you pull it out you should then be able to maybe put it on a board or a plate and just actually sort of trim off these extra bits so that's what i mean this is what it looks like when you don't do it quite right and you do overfill it just a little bit too much what you can do is just trim as i say the edges off if you've um gone over quite a little bit it's not you know not the end of the world it just doesn't make a perfect mickey um, like the other ones do but as I say it, it is rectifiable you know you can just pull the edges um, apart so I'm going to carry on doing that around and then hopefully we'll have a better Mickey so then these are all the Mickey waffles coming out of the uh, oven so I just kept them warm as I say until I needed them so as with any type of machinery like this you know in terms of anything that's electrical always always look at all the instruction manuals and things before you're using it obviously don't just go by this video you know this is the products that i've bought from primark this is how i'm using it but you know definitely use all of the instructions and look through that before you start using anything just to make sure that safety is definitely the the first priority for definites and then once you've finished obviously turn everything off making sure it cools down completely before you sort of give it another wipe over just needs a damp cloth really just to give it a wipe over that's pretty much all it really needs uh, so nothing too abrasive or anything like on it literally there's one little speck of waffle mixture there and apart from that it looks pretty clean so it's just a case of giving it a wipe over and then it's all ready for next time 
So these are the Mickey waffles, just with the sort of curled cool things that I popped on the side. You know, the fruit and marshmallows, Nutella and everything. I'm going to pop some squirty cream, syrup, and I'm going to take them into the conservatory so we can enjoy them. I'm going to head to a clip now of where we had some Disney Mickey waffles in Disneyland Paris. Um, they were really, really good. Uh, very different to these ones because they're just little miniature um, waffles. But I just thought while we were talking about Mickey waffles and everything, I just put a little bit of footage in of when we were at Disneyland Paris. So I'm going to pop that in here and then we'll get back to the Mickey waffles here at home. Fortunately, the 30 years of magic chocolate on the top has melted and broken okay. off. But it looks really cool. This is really um, so these are the Mickey waffles. Is there not a um, a knife as well? No, it's just two oh, okay. forks. You might just have to kind of like... I might have to cut it with this one. Use two forks and just shovel it. <laughs> just trying them for the first time. Mickey waffles. Mm. They're really good. So Mickey waffles all done with all of the other extras added on. So we've got um, one with syrup, we've got a couple without syrup. Um, but other ones have got fruit, Nutella, cream and everything. So yeah, the waffles look pretty good actually. I don't think they look much different to when I made them with the waffle mixture. I don't think there's much difference in terms of what they look like. They maybe did cook slightly quicker. That's the only thing that I would probably say. These were cooked within two minutes. Maybe the waffle mixture um, that I put together maybe took three. Um, but every machine's going to be different. Every mixture is going to be different. So as I say, just double check your instructions and then just keep an eye on them when they are actually in the waffle maker. We're going to sit and enjoy these Mickey waffles now. We'll let you know what they taste like, you know, whether they're much different to the waffle mixture that we've done before, see what the difference is and everything. Um, but yeah, just bringing a bit of magical Disney things to your breakfast table. Why not? Mickey waffles. I had the Mickey waffles. They were really good, weren't they? Yeah, they were nice. Yeah, I mean, what I would say is the American pancake mix that we made today for the waffles, just because I couldn't get hold of waffle mixture, um, I don't think it's as quite as no, good. Um, I think the waffle mixture itself is just slightly better. I have read up a little bit about what mixture you can use and things for waffles. And I think as a general thing, you should be using waffle mixture or making it yourself or buying a packet mix, but it has to be sort of a waffle mixture. But I think if, you, if you're desperate and you, you literally can't get hold of any waffle pancake mixture, mix. it's the American pancake yeah. though. Yeah, the American pancake mix is what we use today. And that is absolutely fine. They still came out pretty much the same. I think maybe they just, maybe weren't quite as sweet, do you think? Yeah. Um, maybe the texture fluffy. was slightly different, um, but you'd definitely get away with it. So th there's nothing wrong with them. So absolutely fine to use American pancake mix as well. Um, if I can find a picture, of the one I bought from Iceland, I'll insert it here. I've also got um, a waffle mix. Now I chose to do this instead of the pancake mix just because I always make my own pancakes from scratch. But I thought this would be quick and easy because I do have a waffle maker. Um, and if there's no picture there, that means I can't find it. <laughs> I'll try and get a picture of the one that, that I bought before, which uh, was, was probably a little bit better than the one I bought today. So there's lots more coming up on the channel, Disney brownies, lots more to do with Disneyland Paris. So definitely keep watching and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.